the philosophy of the coaching staff to because it seemed up tempo and I know we're just starting this is day one of on ice but what's the philosophy and what do you guys want to see from these prospects well right right off the bat we let the prospects know that um, this is not so much of an evaluation camp as it is uh, an orientation camp a uh, introduction to the way the Edmonton do Oilers do business um, what the coaching staff looks for from players um, throughout the organization. So today the emphasis on the ice was more about teaching our players, these young players, um, the skills they need to succeed within our system. Um, we did a little bit of video beforehand and explained exactly what we were looking for. Although we did have a good pace out there, we really tried to emphasize um, the skill and the detail within within our system. Is it fair to call it planting seeds in terms of the Oilers system? Because these guys have to go back to their respective clubs should they not make the Oilers, whichever ones come to camp. And how tricky do you think is it for these guys to maybe retain that when they do come back to Oilers camp eventually to be like, oh yeah, I remember when we did that in development camp. Well, it, it's certainly a, a challenge, but I think it's uh, more than anything, we want to introduce every single player here to the way the Edmonton Oilers want to play the game. And um, whether they're with us this season or in Bakersfield this season or with their respective junior or college team this season, when they watch the Edmonton Oilers play, our goal is that now they will understand what our coaching staff is trying to do, uh, what we would like our players to um, focus on and the details within our system. And so more than anything, it's, it's that introduction into the way we want to play the game. Another thing I wanted to ask is, uh, in years prior, it would more so be the AHL coaches on the ice, player development guys on the ice. Here we're seeing you run these practices. Jim Johnson's on the ice yep. with you. Todd McClellan's watching in the stands and coming down when, and stopping things when he sees something he doesn't like. Yep. Uh, why do you guys feel it's important to, to be here with these guys who might not necessarily be Oilers in the immediate future? Well, I think it, it, as much as it is an introduction for these players um, to the organization, it's also an important introduction for the coaches to the players. These are the players that are going to be coming down the pipeline for us, so it's important for us um, to get to know um, these these players as, first of all, human beings first, to get to know them as, as people, uh, to understand what makes them tick, to have a comfort level to share teaching points. And I think the, one of the ways you can do that is by getting involved right off the bat. And, uh, you know, when our coaching staff came in last year, this was an emphasis for us, was to make sure that we're uh, instilling these details uh, right from day one in orientation camp. Do you think it resonates more with the younger guys when they see the guys that they watch on TV that are always behind the bench to be there giving them instruction? Well, I don't know about that. We've got a great coaching staff in Bakersfield as well, um, and they've been a great help in all the preparation and executing the drills out here. I think uh, players uh, see the level of preparation that an NHL coaching staff brings on a daily basis. I think they appreciate that, uh, and I think they appreciate the camaraderie that the coaches have amongst each other as well. Um, these are these coaches. Everyone has a passion for the game, a passion for passing on their knowledge uh, to the next generation of player, and uh, it's a privilege that we don't uh, we don't take it lightly. Finally, for me, uh, <clears throat> last year it was uh, in Edmonton. This this rookie camp. Uh, understandably, how nice is it to take things out of Edmonton where maybe there's a less of a spotlight in the mountains and, and kind of get away a little bit in your mind? What a difference does that make? I think it's a, it's a good change. Um, all the players are living together with the coaches and the management that are here. So I think there's a camaraderie that gets built that way. Um, I think the setting is idyllic. Um, this morning we rode over um, from the where we're staying to the arenas on on great mountain bikes uh, with the mountains in the background. It was a great way to wake up. Um, I think it energizes and galvanizes the group when you take them out of their regular situation and you bring them to a setting like this. Uh, more than that, you can really see that Jasper is oil country too. Yeah. There's lots of fans uh, that have been around our, our practices, been around our team. And I think uh, these young players, they're excited about performing for them as well.